Hello there, people of the internet. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> I probably should have uh, done lunch before coming out here, but hey, I'm out here now. So I'm out here with an AR-10. This is actually an Armalite AR-10. Like, literally, says right on the receiver, Armalite AR-10. This is the original company that produced the AR platform. All right, before we really get started, I wanna go ahead and say thanks for watching, but the stuff that I'm doing here is not cheap. This right here is an expensive rifle, and this right here is not cheap ammunition. So I wanna say thank you to what few Patreon supporters I have. If you'd like to consider assisting me with the work that I do and helping me uh, make future content, consider checking out both Utreon and Patreon. Links in the description below. So, I've never fired anything besides a 223 5.56 out of an AR platform. I have no idea what to expect firing a 308 out of an AR-10. I've never done it. Uh, I do know that 308 does have some pretty stout recoil behind it, but like I said, I've never done it. Now, this right here is actually a rifle that I'm borrowing from a buddy of mine. He says it should be relatively close to zeroed in. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how much I believe that, but if he says, then I guess we're gonna find out. This right here, the scope that we have on this thing, although there are iron sights on it, this says Hawk, H-A-W-K-E. Looks like it's a four power scope. A one to four power scope, that's what this is. I have no idea if it's actually zeroed in. We have Aguila, however that's pronounced. Someone's gonna go down and yell at me about that in the comments below. Aguila 308 ammunition. My buddy says that this, uh, or this rifle right here does not necessarily like 7.62 NATO. It'll run it, but not very reliably. So I have Aguila 308. And the first thing I'm noticing is how how much I hate using this charging handle with this big old Hawk scope in the way. Bring this bastard back. All right, we are loaded, ready to go. Uh, AR-10, if you're familiar with the AR-15 platform, you're gonna feel right at home with this thing. Ah yes, hold on, YouTube reviewer, I'm sure that you're here watching this. Semi-automatic rifle, 20 round magazine. This right here is uh, in full compliance with YouTube's community guidelines. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send a couple of rounds down at our steel silhouette. This is just regular 308 ammunition, nothing special. Let's go ahead and see how much recoil we have behind this thing. And let's see, wow, that's, that's very strange. I'm used to having rifles that are like, <laughs> with a scope that are zoomed in. And uh, with this zoomed down, I can actually see the end of the barrel here. And I don't know, it's just very unique compared to what I'm used to. Now this is a 308. I might want to brace myself a little bit here. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh my goodness. Well, we hit our steel, I think. Oh, okay. All right. I might be a fan of the AR-10 platform. Normally, I'd be thinking, you know, the AR-15, 223, 5.56, nice lightweight ammunition can handle anything, but now I've shot an AR-10. This is the first time I've shot one of these. And semi-automatic 308, God, what a freaking powerhouse. That's a lot of firepower. Get on the ground, boy. <laughs> you know, I bought that Aguila ammunition back during the, uh, the pandemic and everyone was panic buying and ammunition absolutely skyrocketed in price. I paid $2 a bullet for that, so that was an expensive magazine. All right, ergonomics on this thing, just like the AR platform, there's a little paddle on the side, press it forward, bolt slams forward. Dust cover on the side, magazine release right here. I mean, it's literally an AR-10, but if you're like me and you've never handled an AR-10 until today, then hey, uh, yeah, basically, very similar to the AR-15. Now I'm noticing that the furniture on it is the same color as the uh, original AR-15 models that were like adopted by the United States Air Force. I want to touch up on my history behind the development of these rifles before I go ahead and start talking about the history behind the rifles. Okay, now we have some Sierra Match 308 here. And this stuff is a little bit more expensive, a little bit uh, more, what's the word I'm looking for, valuable than the Aguila that I just threw down range. But 
it's also all the ammunition that I have left. So, AR mag comes out, AR mag goes in, just like this. Perfect, <laughs> not exactly the fastest reload, keeping the magazine in my pockets, but there we go. Use charging handle, bring that back, let it go forward. Fantastic, pop that bad boy on save. All right, well, <laughs> we smacked the hell out of that steel target. Let me go grab us another target that we can smack the hell out of. You know, many years ago, many, many years ago, there was a scientist. I believe his name was Lavazier. I'm sure I butchered that pronunciation, but I don't care. Well, Lavazier <laughs> said that matter cannot be created nor destroyed. Well, Lavazier did not have an AR-10. <laughs> Okay, I kind of just got some random debris out there. I was doing my 10,000 subscriber special earlier. I got a piece of cinder block from earlier and a uh, bowling pin out there. Let's go ahead and launch a couple of rounds at them. Why not? Oh, goodness. Well, we got that one. Let's, let's see if I can hit that again. Oh, I sure did. There it goes. Bowling pin time. Ooh. The bowling pin is still standing. There was a cloud of dust from the bowling pin and yet somehow still standing. Well, I did put it in a hole in the ground, I guess, but let's hit it again. Got it that time. There it goes on the ground. Let's go for the steel again. I'm <laughs> making the steel stand back up. Man, 308 out of a semi-automatic like this. That is a lot of firepower. I'm gonna have to gather all this brass because I'm sure it's reloadable and I'll load myself some more 308 to be able to fire from this rifle and make more videos. Okay, so now we have everybody's favorite combination, which makes a horrible, horrible mess. We got water and we got some flour. So I am probably gonna go with the flour first because if it gets wet, uh, it won't turn into like the big puff of smoke that we all like seeing whenever we shoot flour. So flowers first, and then we'll go for the water. These are full metal jackets, so I have no idea how much force they're gonna put on target. I'm pretty sure they're basically just gonna pass right through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try and hit the ground <laughs> and see if I can like make it blast into the sky <laughs> upon impact. Well, I don't know, center target also sounds fun. Uh, I'll hit. I'll tell you what, I'll hit like the lower third area and we'll see if we can get some force impacting upwards while still managing to hit our target. Wow, that was anticlimactic. Let me try that again. Oh, I missed that other shot. There we go. That was a good one. It was all, oh God, that stuff stinks. Oh my, oh my goodness. Whew, that's from the same batch of flour as my 10,000 subscriber special. And uh, it's spoiled flour, and my God, does it smell bad. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and shoot the water here. I don't know, that bag of flour, is that just paper at this point or is there still flour? There's like a little bit of flour there, but it's mostly all gone. I feel like sending another round at that would be a waste of ammunition. So now I'm going to shoot at the water and let's see how much water we get everywhere. Oh, well, it was wet, but it didn't exactly rain. Like it wasn't, it wasn't 21 year old bachelor party at a strip club rain. It was more like group of Marines staring at a computer screen rain. <laughs> It does look like we successfully passed through our target. And, oh my God, all right, I gotta show you guys that. So, obviously we did some damage. 308 is a very powerful round. People don't, people don't understand how powerful 308 is. It's, it's quite potent. But, check this out. The cap was blown off of this water jug and sent flying and it landed like 15 feet away here. That was pretty cool. All right, now I have to clean that up. 
All right, well, I don't have a lot of ammunition for this thing left, so I'm actually going to save some of these rounds for making another video because I would love to compare the 308 AR-10 to the 223-556 AR-15. And in order to do that, I will definitely need some ammunition. So, like I said, I have no idea how many rounds are left in this thing. I imagine it's not very many. This isn't very heavy. Okay, well, thanks for watching, folks. I do appreciate your time. Uh, if you have anything that you want to add, I mean, semi-automatic 308. Jeez Louise, dude, that's a that's some serious firepower. 308 is kind of expensive, though. Uh, yeah, 223 is definitely the cheaper option, but man, the amount of power that you get from 308. Oh God, I love it. I love it so much. I was not expecting to like the AR-10 as much as I do but I absolutely do. So, hey folks, thanks for watching. I do appreciate your time. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. The description down below has a link to all sorts of stuff. Go check that out. I'm over here dealing with the hiccups trying to do an outro. <laughs> uh, I guess I guess it could be worse. I could be one of those things down there. <laughs> what I want to get, this one right here, I'm not sure if I said it in this video or not, is on loan to me from a buddy of mine. I want to get one of Brownell's BRN-10s, one of the like mock-ups of the original model of the AR-10. Got like the brown Bakelite furniture on it and the charging handle going up into the uh, carry handle on the top of the receiver. Just that would be really sweet to have and that is something, ooh, that's something that I would love to look into, but that'll be down the road. I've actually got a lot of really cool stuff coming out right now for you guys. So. Thanks for watching, folks. You guys go off. Have yourself a fantastic day. I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> the poor man's Garen. <laughs> Shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream.